The Phillies are trying to make it back to the World Series, and they just added Josh Harrison to do that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Clem Hawks. I hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday. Some big news in MLB free agency world. Josh Harrison, as I mentioned, is headed to Philadelphia. He's very experienced. He's bringing some of that talent. He's probably going to be a bench player, but he's bringing some of that talent back to Philly after kind of being a journeyman for the last couple of years. We're going to go through his stats if this is a good signing and go from there. But of course, I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below uh, about all of it. Is Josh Harrison a player that you would like to see on the Phillies? Is it a good move? Does it actually make an impact for the Phillies moving forward, right? To make it back to the World Series. And of course, if you are new here, if you do like what I'm doing, if you want to talk about baseball, leave a comment, but also hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 4,000 subscribers. So let's jump into this video. Josh Harrison, as I mentioned, just signed uh, a deal with the Phillies. It is a one-year deal. I don't think we have numbers on it yet. $2 million. So one year, $2 million. That's kind of a steal if you ask me for the type of player you're getting in Josh Harrison. Let's go over his stats from last season. Uh, he was with the White Sox last year, played in 119 games. Um, I I mean, he played everywhere with the White Sox. He played uh, second, third, dh did he get into he pitched a game uh left field and shortstop like he was all over the board and he kind of has been his entire career i don't see him necessarily being an everyday player on the phillies like i said he's probably going to be more that bench guy they have a a, a quite a few young talented guys uh, they also just traded for uh clemens i believe with detroit um, they got soto in that trade they also made the big move with Trey Turner. Like, they are, are adding pieces. And Josh Harrison, I think, fits that role really well to be somebody on that team who can help out, right? He is not going to be um, your best player on the team, but he's, he had a 1.4 war last season, right? He had seven home runs, 27 RBIs. A little bit less on the weaker side on uh, OPS+. Plus. He's never been the star-studded big shot hitter he was at 94 but the average is 100 so he's right there right 250 batting average uh 99 hits like i said in 119 games he's a guy who will fill in and fill in well two-time all-star got some mvp votes as well in 2014 yes he has digressed i would say from his his prime of course being the two all-star years uh, back in the day, uh, if you are looking at the OPS plus ratings, um, you know he's only had one season, like in the in the high 100s at 133. Uh, the other seasons have been 108, 106, 103, 96, 83. So very much, a, I would say, an average player, but does give you a little bit more war, right? Like he, his war comes from the defensive side of things. He's not the slowest guy in the world for sure. Um, and obviously, just being 35 years old, he is more experienced. It doesn't look like he has a World Series or anything. Uh, was on Washington in 2020, so not quite there. Pittsburgh has never been good. And then just kind of was probably supposed to be a piece with the White Sox. Um, but just with all their other injuries, just didn't really um, make a lot of sense. So... Like I said, this is a steal, I think, for the Phillies uh, in a few of the different ways that we just talked about, but only $2 million, right? If you look at his contracts from the years, back in 2018, the dude was getting paid $10 million um, with the Pirates, and obviously that is why he is no longer with them. Just got too expensive. Pirates are not the kind of team that are going to like franchise this guy. He was getting older. He was on 30 years old then. So he's been kind of a journeyman. Trying to be that, that bench player that support, again, with that experience and everything. And I think that, that is exactly what he is capable of. For $2 million, you're getting a bench guy. You're getting a solid right-handed bat who has that experience, who will come in and, and fill in, especially with injuries being so prominent in baseball. He's a guy who will fill in. And it's never a bad thing to you know, have another guy. I think, I don't think Clemens was necessarily going to play. I think in that video, if you want to go back and watch that video um, with the Tigers trade, he's a young guy, right? This is, this is a guy in Harrison who will like mentor him, right? He will mentor Clemens and be kind of that figure like, Hey, watch me. Look what I can do. And you guys know what I'm talking about there. So 
He's a good player on so many different aspects. And I think the Phillies, not only did they get him for cheap and everything, but he will be a player who can benefit in that lineup himself for the Phillies. And with their additions, like I mentioned in Soto and in uh, Trey Turner, like that's just a great group of people to to push the Phillies in an even better direction, right? So if you go through the Phillies lineup here, I'll pull it up just so that I don't miss anybody. But you've already got Harper, right? The face of the Phillies um, in the last, I mean, four years or so. Like, they are already on the doorstep. Like, that's the thing. They're on the doorstep just by their additions this summer, and I think, or this winter, I should say, and then going out and getting some more free agents for a really cheap cost. That just benefits them, right? So let's look at the Phillies roster. Harper, the face of the franchise, really, really good, right? Then you got Kyle Schwarber as a great, uh, a great secondary piece. You have Brandon Marsh, who they traded for last year. Nick Castellanos, really going on that offensive side of things. They got Jake Cave, shout out to the Twins, uh, as an outfielder. There you go. Um, then they got young guys like Stott and uh, Clemens. Like I said, Bohm, Alec Bohm, all young guys coupled with Ross, uh, uh, Reese Hoskins and Trey Turner. I mean, there you like that's a star-studded lineup. And then JT Romuso behind the dish, plus their pitchers. Like that is a core group of guys. And you just throw in a, I would say like a B, B plus player um, at, at his highest potential. Josh Harrison. He makes that team go from barely making the wild card. Right, they went in this great run last year. You barely make the wild card. Like, I mean, the Mets made some big moves this year. I still think they'd probably win the division. The Braves have obviously extended X, Y, Z players, like everybody on that roster. They're probably going to be in contention. But I think the Phillies, instead of fighting for that wild card spot, they are for sure locked in. And then obviously, you know, you play well in the division. The Braves go down with some injuries. Maybe they light up the Mets a little bit on the pitching side of things. That is easily a second tier team. Um, it probably wins the division in any other division, but. Easily sitting in the wild card, probably competing um, at, a, at a pretty high level. And I bet they would finish second next year. And I'm guessing either the the, the Mets will fall off like they always do or the Braves um, will fall off and just not be as good. I don't know. I'd like to say that the Phillies are, are quite a good second place team. Like they will be... I, I mean, they're still in the wild card spot, but they are comfortably in that wild card spot. So... If you're going to compete, you definitely need to go make more moves. And I think that's exactly what uh, they're doing. Like, I don't know if Philly has a weak spot anymore. I mean, maybe their bullpen, but they did go clean that up with Soto. Um, hopefully, you know, Alvarado is, is okay. Craig Kimbrell hopefully might have a, a resurging year. You've got Nola. You've got Wheeler. I don't see a weak spot in this Phillies lineup, especially on the bench now, right? If you got Schwarber and Castellanos and Harper in the outfield, Marsh is a great guy off the bench. Cave's not terrible. Um, Bohm, who I guess who? How would it go around the infield? Trey Turner short, Hoskins at first, Stott or Bohm, I guess third and second maybe. Harrison is the 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 bench player there. A couple of other uh, names that can fit in to a few of those positions, but. Like, where's the weak spot? So that's what I got for you guys today. I think it's a great signing for Josh Harrison for himself to try to win a World Series and also for the Phillies uh, moving in the right direction, just completely filling out that team. So hopefully you guys agree. If you don't, let me know in the comments. But I would love to know your thoughts on, on the Phillies making moves and trying to maybe take that top spot in the NL uh, West there, or East. Sorry. Uh, so... Let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Again, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you t love talking about baseball or just want to keep this channel going. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.